Me and Sankey's here, and we want to talk to you about bags. I've been on the search for the perfect bag for me for a while now, and what I've been looking for is something that's functional, that's stylish, that's comfortable, and most importantly, looks good on me. Okay, then I'm ready for my close-up. This is what might be in my backpack on any given day. Usually, it's a slimmed down combination of what's on the table. But this is all I need for candid shooting, run and gun filming, recording, or editing when I'm on the road. Having a carry-on only approach to traveling has forced me to be creative with how I pack and selective with what I bring with me. The GORUG GR1 is almost $300. I got the educator discount and it brought the bag down about $220, but that's still a lot of money for a backpack. The deeper that I've gone into the rabbit hole of backpacks, I've realized that this is the average price point for bags that have all the features I want as well as the build quality that I expect. I found this backpack when I started searching YouTube for a camera bag that doesn't look like a camera bag. And I was torn between getting the GR1 in the 21 liter or 26 liter style. On their site they say if you're under 6 feet tall, get the smaller bag. Since I'm 5'11", that's what I did. The specs online say the bag's 18 inches tall. And for my height, I found that 19 inch backpacks are about the sweet spot. They're large enough to handle what I need day to day, but still compact enough to be my personal item when I fly. Although this bag is 18 inches tall, it still feels a bit small to me. I love the scaled down military design of the bag. It's not too over the top. The last thing I need is to draw the wrong kind of attention when I'm going through airport security. The material is surprisingly very rigid brand new, and it makes the zippers kind of hard to open up. But I hear that's how the bags are, and they break in over time. I'm hoping that's the case with the shoulder straps too, because it's not as comfortable as I thought it would be to wear this backpack. The GR1 is a bit smaller than the Heim Planet Daypack, and definitely nowhere near the GR2. I was surprised though, this bag is still really spacious, and it fits everything I need on a day to day, but it comes up short with fitting everything I need for when I travel. After testing the bag out, I found that the 21 liter GR1 was not conducive to my needs. While it's surprisingly more spacious than it looks, it was a bit too small for me, even though the website suggested that this is the right size for my height. Since I won't be using the bag for its intended use of rucking, I returned the bag and I'm looking forward to trying out the larger version.